Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is going to be a huge Dollar Tree haul, so stay tuned. So the story of my life, I went into Dollar Tree for a couple things and I ended up buying a lot of things. So I found some really great finds at a store I don't normally go to. So I want to share them with you. So as we head into the spring and summer, you kind of know what's out there and what you're looking for. I personally love Dollar Tree's canvases. So if you're willing to look, you can find some really awesome decor and like wall art pieces at Dollar Tree that you don't even have to DIY. One being these canvases. So I found some that I really like. One is this little succulent. Number two is this peony one, and this is so pretty. It's like got some raised stuff on it, so it looks like it's hand painted, so it looks a lot nicer than just for a dollar. And then also this rose with some gold. These are awesome additions to your gallery walls, and because they're only a dollar, you can swap them out as frequently as you want. Also in canvases, I was able to find some of these eight by 10 canvases and the kind that I like are the thicker sides because I like to use the wood on the inside especially for reverse canvases and so I have found some of those thinner ones but if you can look on the back and see that it's raised or that there's wood in there these I think for the projects that I use are a lot better value so I grabbed four of those for an upcoming DIY. I also saw this book in the book section it looks really really cute it's happy handmade home sometimes it's nice to just sit on the couch with a book instead of like constantly scrolling on your phone or Pinterest so it's a beautiful book I also like it because it would be great for like a coffee table book or some office decor it is by the bloggers of a beautiful mess so I like their stuff and it looks like there's some fun projects in there too so there should be some great inspiration in there I found some fun stuff in the garden section the first being this it is a little garden flag and it's really cute it is a lemon little motif and it says home sweet home. I don't plan on using this as a garden flag. I am gonna use it for a DIY, but it is really, really cute. I found this really fun wreath charm is what they're calling it, but how cute is that? That would be, you know, the little hole at the top. It comes with wire on the back, so you're supposed to be able to put it on a wreath. But this is so cute. I like the colors. Might attach it to some wood beads. That would be a really, really cool charm for the end of that. I grabbed three packs of these limes, and they usually sell lemons too with the limes, but there were a ton of limes, no lemons. I do not decorate with limes, but I do have a DIY plan for these, so I will make them over to fit my decor. But three for a dollar is a really good deal because I would have DIY'd with the other ones anyway. You could probably, if you don't wanna have to paint them, find them cheaper, nine for, eh. Nine for three bucks is a pretty good deal. But nonetheless, these are going to be for a DIY. I just decided to grab the limes because if I didn't grab them, then I wouldn't be able to find them either. And then also shocker for another DIY, I grabbed one of these garden buckets. It's nice and wide. So I'm looking forward to the project that I have in mind for this guy. I went with the taupe color just because they had it and I plan to DIY it and paint over it anyway. And so typically you don't want to go for like your bright like pinks or blues because it's just easier to cover when it's a neutral like this. Also, so up near the garden section, I found peonies. Okay, you guys know I love peonies. They were the main flower at my wedding. And so I have been decorating a ton with picks from Walmart. However, these are gorgeous for the dollar price point. This is what they look like for $1. So there's one, two, there's five peonies on a $1 pick. These pink ones are definitely my favorite. I also grabbed some coral ones here and some like off-white. So there are a ton, ton, ton of projects coming up with peonies. You guys loved my lavender DIYs, so I'm really excited to do some more peonies inspired DIYs. So that will be coming your way shortly. So be sure that you are subscribed if you are a fan of peonies because they will be coming soon. I struggle sometimes with throwing out, like they will be done by Wednesday because then like the world blows up on Tuesday. So soon, soon it will be coming at you. Okay, so you guys know that I like to keep it real and if Dollar Tree isn't the best place to buy things, I let you know or if there's other options. So if you see this and love peonies and are super, super bummed that you can't find them at your store, let me show you a secret. So look at these. Now I wanted to show you that Dollar Tree had them, but I, ha I have to tell you about these. These are Walmarts. These are Dollar Trees, both beautiful, but look, these look more realistic and these are 97 cents. You get five to a pick. The leaves are still as atrocious. You know, we gotta remove those, those leaves so they don't look cheap. But you could mix them together, do one of these, 
they look good together in a grouping but i if i had to pick i would go for the walmart ones i went to dollar tree before i went to walmart so that's why i have a few but i've got a lot of diys plans so i've got a lot coming but walmart's here and then walmart's also come in other colors so I opted for the pink and the purple peonies from Walmart. So all of these picks, the individual picks are 97 cents from Walmart. They were all at my store in a center display under $1.50, even the lavender that were $1.47 were all in there. So these are a great, great, great find. The Dollar Tree ones are great too, but you guys know, like I said, I gotta be honest with you. So you can do the Walmart route, you can do the Dollar Tree route. Either way, I don't think you are going wrong. This isn't like the lavender where the Dollar Tree lavender is just terrible don't even look at it this you could definitely do both and i approve also in the floral motif i grabbed this gift bag this one's actually pretty big and it's got some holographicness to it the back does not i love this and i thought this print would be great for some sort of diy who knows what but i see prints and especially at dollar tree to get the look of something else for a lot cheaper is always a plus just looking through the gift bags sometimes isn't enough i look behind other bags i take a minute the biggest piece of advice I can give you at Dollar Tree is be willing to look. I get people all the time, my mother-in-law asks me, like, how do you find that? I never see that at my Dollar Tree. I dig. Like, granted, not everything is at every Dollar Tree, but also I am down looking. It's kind of the thrill of the hunt. I've said this before, but think about, you know, when you're looking for canvas pieces, look through all of them. Those might be in the back. If you're looking for, you know, cool bags, those might be in the back because the front ones might have been picked over by somebody before you. So just something to keep in mind as you're hunting at Dollar Tree to kind of find some of these cool items. Something else I found really interesting is I've seen this tag, specifically at this store, this Juncture tag, and it was on a ton of different things. This happens to be a scarf, but I'm wondering if this is one of Dollar Tree's new brands, and I think it is because the back says Greenbrier, which as we know will be Dollar Tree type stuff that is their distribution company. Nonetheless, they had hats, they had a few different like apparel pieces that were pretty cute. I also grabbed this infinity scarf, which is by that Juncture brand. And I really liked the print here. I'm not a big summer scarf person. However, I do think this fabric is going to be bomb for a DIY because it's got the peonies on there. You guys know how I feel about that. So these little trinket dishes were a super fun find. They came in white and black and they kind of have like a honeycomb looking design on them. The lids are gold. They come in white and black. And I am, I bought a couple so that I could keep some, do some as a DIY, but the lids come off. And these honestly could make really cute little ramekin dishes too, but it's got kind of a honeycomb pattern. I grabbed some of these. These would look cute on a tiered tray, this and the black one. So if you do bee decor, this these would be so cute on a tiered tray because it has that print. You can also flip them over and use them as risers because you know, there's not really a top and a bottom to that. So ton, ton, ton of uses for these. I grabbed three white and one black. I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't get more black, but nonetheless, they are really cute and these are a good find if you can find them. I was running low, so I had to grab some more quick cover contact paper. Now this, I like this print for a DIY. It's like black and white. It's been there forever. So if you've looked at the quick contact, it's not like I'm telling you anything new. However, I have shared in some of my Cricut videos, but these make awesome um, alternatives for stencils. So I'll cut, I'll put this just right on my Cricut it, weed it, put it down, and have that be a um, stencil. So for this roll for a dollar, it really helps. If you put the Mod Podge over the top, I haven't had an issue. I made this autumn sign last fall with it. It was a Kirkland's dupe. So these are really great Cricut items from the Dollar Tree. So excited to DIY with these in a multitude of different ways. In addition to the limes, I grabbed a couple more lemon things. I grabbed this container of lemon hand soap. I actually didn't even smell it. I don't know if it even smells that good. Eh, it smells okay. However, I thought I could remove this sticker and have this be a really cute holder. I could put my own kind in there. I can't tell if the container is clear and the soap is yellow or whatever, but figuring I could do something with this. So I think this is gonna be a DIY um, to do my bathroom in lemons for the summer, so excited there. Also in the lemon theme, I was so excited to see these cute little towels. Dollar Tree hand towels are like not gonna be like the Kohl's level, like super soft, but they are super cute for prints. So this has the saying on either side, life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But I thought this was super cute. I grabbed a couple for the bathroom when we decorate for summer, but then I also grabbed another one because I have a DIY in mind. These were hidden <laughs> in 
well, I guess not hidden, but they were in the towel area, which I usually sometimes gloss right over. So they also had a really cute truck one. So there's some options there in the towel. So be sure to check that out. Also, while I was frequenting the towels, I found this one that says cook, eat, be happy. This is more of like a flower sack or tea towel material. And these are also super cute for decorating. I liked the red pot for a pop of color for the summer. And now we are towards the end of the randomness. So I did grab a two of these dry floral foam bricks. Let me know down below, do you have a green thumb? My dad does. My mom does not, I inherited that. Alex does, he's like turned our whole downstairs into like a greenhouse because we are growing strawberries and all these things. So you know what, it's fine, I'll reap those awards. I do not have a green thumb. But anyway, these are my favorite floral pieces so you'll be seeing these with those peonies. Add this to the random list too. I got some of these bunnies and I have an idea for these that has nothing to do with Easter but I like the shape. So hopefully this will work out for me. That video will be coming um, in a little bit, but we'll see. It's probably gonna be like those other bunny ones where I'm like, this is either gonna be amazing or it's gonna be terrible. This is, we'll put that on that list too. So hopefully those turned out pretty good. Hopefully these will too. And finally, if you've got long hair like me, I love Dollar Tree combs. This one I thought was super cute. Nice long situation. I love to throw these in my beach bag or just honestly in my purse because one today when I was out buying all of this, it was really windy. It's nice to just kind of run it through my hair. I like to do this versus a brush. Brushes, especially now like in the winter, as it gets warmer, it won't be as bad, but it like really makes my hair staticky. And having these in your beach bag is super nice because then you can just quickly comb your hair when you get out of the pool or the what kind of whatever you're doing. Um, and so this one I plan to throw in my purse slash beach bag for the summer. So that is everything that I grabbed at Dollar Tree today. So like I said, went in for a few things, came out with a lot, but I feel like most stores you can say that for. Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, the grocery store. It happens a lot. <laughs> I go in for certain things and I come out with more. My two favorite things that I hauled were those little trinket holders that had the honeycomb print on them and then also the peonies. I think it is awesome too that Walmart offers them because I know a lot of you try to go on hunts for Dollar Tree stuff and it can be so frustrating when you can't find it. I totally get it. I am also a fan of other YouTubers. I watch them. I see what they haul. I can't find it. It is so frustrating. However, I'm hoping that you can find them at your local Walmart if you can't find them at your Dollar Tree so we can make some peony DIYs here in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was that I hauled. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video and all of these DIYs that will be coming. Have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.